Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm kicking off a travel vlog because I am headed to one of my favorite places in the world, Taos, New Mexico, and I thought I'd bring you along with me. So I'm all packed up and I'm about to go get some coffee and some breakfast because I'm starving and then I'm gonna hit the road. So I've got about five hours ahead of me. I'll make a couple stops along the way, but I'm excited to get there and have some fun. My hair is a little wild today because I just washed it this morning, so it'll be better <laughs> tomorrow. Um, but I just got the salted caramel cold brew from Starbucks. I haven't had this one before. It's good, I like it. Okay, so I'm getting gas and then I'm actually leaving. <laughs> So I just stopped for a minute because I just had to take in the view. It has been more than two years since I've been to this area because of like, you know, everything that's been going on. And I just had to take in the mountains because it's so gorgeous. Let me know down below. Are you a mountains person or are you a like beach person? Because I'm definitely a mountains person. And Taos has kind of like a cool vibe because it's like a desert town which I also enjoy, but it's also like in the mountains. So it's going to be fun. I'm heading into town um, and through town. I'm going to explore some places around Taos before I can check into my Airbnb, which is also a really cool place. I like to stay in like unique spots. So I'm excited about that. But um, I've been driving on this little windy road. So I wanted to take a little break and enjoy the view and then um, yeah, finish up this drive. So I'm currently in Arroyo Seco, which is a few miles north of Taos. And I, this place is special to me because I used to come here in college all the time and after college. I haven't been in, a, like I said, a few years, but I have so many good memories here. I used to stay in this hostel. I think I'm going to walk down there, so I'll get some footage of that. But it is quite the interesting place. It just started raining, so I'm glad I brought my umbrella. But um, I'm just going to walk around and waste some time, maybe uh, do a little shopping, I don't know. But it's just, I'm just happy to be here because um, it's just a special place. So I made it to my Airbnb. It's outside of Taos. It's like south of Taos by just like a few miles. And it's so cute. I'm gonna give you a full tour in a minute. But if you didn't already know, I love tiny houses, like any size, any shape, any theme. I'm like into it. And this one is kind of combining two of my favorite things, a dome house and a tiny house. Love it. So this place is, um, it's like I said, outside of Taos. It was built by women, which is kind of cool. I was reading in the literature that the Airbnb host left and she said that the person who built this was like a woman, a, a woman artist and she built it to be an introvert's paradise. And that's exactly what it is because it's super private. There's a fence that goes all the way around I can hear the chickens outside and they're supposed to be friendly dogs and she said I can walk down the road and get like a really good view of like the sunset or sunrise and it's just really beautiful. 
and it's kind of fun. I always look for unique experiences on Airbnb and this is definitely one of them. All right, let's start with the view and the garden. Okay, once you come inside, so this is the like main space. Well, it's basically all in one room, but this is like the main floor, like the bottom floor. So there's like a little living room, a little table and chairs over here, a fridge, and then there's a little kitchenette, which has, you know, just the basic necessities. And then, um, so there's like a sink and a couple of dishes, which I will use and things like that. And then around this door, I'll show you outside in just a second. Over here is where the closet tub is. Oh, I'm so excited about this tub. People talked about this in the reviews and it's one of the things that like drew me to this spot. So I'm really excited about this little space. It just is so like cozy, like I can draw the curtains, but I can close this and I'll feel like totally private. And then outside, we come around here. Oh, it's locked. Hold on. There we go. There's a little seating area out here too. Can you hear the chickens? I kind of want to make the chickens. She also said there were dogs, um, but I haven't seen any dogs yet. Okay, so it's pretty small down here. The only thing I haven't shown you is over here. This is the, it's not even the bathroom, it's just the toilet area. So luckily there's a little light in here because I like didn't see the light for a while and I thought it was totally dark. But here is the composting toilet that I'm gonna try out in a little bit. Um, all the reviews said like it wasn't scary or anything. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you the little loft. So there's all kinds of storage in here. If you were staying here long term, then you could like totally settle in here. Okay, so there's cute little stairs. And then here is the loft area. So cute. So here's the little dresser. And then here's the bed with a little nightstand. And then hopefully there's a fan because I'm burning up. <laughs> and then there is a little skylight so you can see the stars at night. I think that's gonna be super cool. And as you can just see like the rest of the, the house. But this is so fun. I'm always up for something fun. I like this blanket too. It's cool. So I'm just gonna settle in and kind of unpack a little bit and make myself some dinner because I picked some stuff up in town and just kind of relax a little bit. Enjoy some outside time, maybe watch a movie or something, just chill. I went to a local market before I came to the Airbnb and one of the things that caught my eye was this mac and cheese. It's like New Mexican mac and cheese. And from what I gathered from the label, it has some local um, bacon and green chilies, of course. And I love green chilies. I love bacon. I love smokehouse cheddar. So this is a dinner. This is a lot. Um, but I found this little iron skillet and heated it up and it looks so good. So this is dinner for tonight for sure.
is Friday and I have just been taking it easy this morning. It got a little warm last night so I ended up opening up the doors downstairs um, and just like leaving the screen doors open which totally helped. And the sun came up at like 5.30 this morning which was not cool but uh, that's what I get for being a Texan in a different time zone. Um, but it was fine. I slept pretty good. Uh, once I cooled off a little bit. I had a really nice soak in the tub last night and it's just nice. So I've been trying to really focus on relaxing and the quiet is kind of surprising me. So I really, just the type of person I am, I'm just like go, go, go all the time and my mind is just always running and I've had a chance to kind of slow down. Even though it's just a couple of days, like slowing down and kind of listening to myself and and working through different thoughts and stuff has been kind of um, something I wasn't expecting, um, but it's been good. And I've just been reading a lot and I'm watching a couple movies and just relaxing, which is good. Now today on my schedule, um, the only thing I have to do, well, I want to do it, but the only thing that I have like scheduled is a self-guided tour of the Earthship colony outside of Taos, which I've been to before, but I've never actually done a tour. And I chose the self-guided because you could like go whenever you wanted to. And I kind of like, you know, wandering and stuff. So I'm planning on going out to the Gorge Bridge and just walking the bridge because I haven't done that in a couple years. And then doing my little self-guided tour. So I think I'm going to do that first because it's gonna get warm today. Not as warm as yesterday, thank goodness. But I just kinda of wanna get that kinda of out of the way. And then I'm planning on going downtown and just doing some leisurely shopping. And then before I leave in the afternoon, I'm gonna order in some Mexican food, new Mexican food. Um, I've already picked out what I want. I'm gonna order some takeout from a restaurant and um, pick it up and then come back here and again, just relax and chill. And then tomorrow it's on to Santa Fe for a few hours. So I'm excited for today. It's gonna be fun and just kind of slow pace and just kind of just keeping it real low key. That's been kind of my vibe for this trip and it's been good. So um, I think I'm gonna, I'm almost ready. I'm like nearly ready. I decided today to put on way less makeup than yesterday because I got so sweaty outside and my sunglasses like made the mark and it was just melting off my face. So took it easy today on the makeup and then my hair is wild, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been fun in the dome, but I'm ready to get out there and do some stuff around the house. So I'm at the Gorge Bridge rest stop right now and it's so hot already. I'm like sweating, but there's like a lot of people here and I don't really know why it's like really hopping right now. There are like some booths set up with like vendors. I don't really know what they're selling. I just drove by, but I didn't see anything I was really interested in, but I'm going to go and walk the bridge. I'm a little bit scared of heights, so I'll be uh, interested to see how I do with that. I haven't walked it in a while, but I remember it being very, very high, but I remember the views being worth it. So I'm gonna be brave. All the way across it's too high and scary and just a big old nope from me <laughs> so i just got to the earthship community and if you don't know what an earthship is it's like a self-sufficient and self-sustained house and it's built usually in the desert or in really anywhere i guess but they're very popular around here in taos and i've been here before but i it's grown so much and i'm really curious about the tour and like what's going to be going on but they're so cool so I'm going to show you around here and I'm going to learn more about the earthships because along with tiny houses I also have a fascination with earthships. <laughs>
that was an absolutely fascinating experience. I've been out here before, but it was like, I think I figured out it was like 12 years ago. And the old visitor center is now like across the street and you can just see the outside of it. You can't go in it anymore. But the new visitor center was like, used to be a house and they converted it. It was so interesting. So I did the self-guided tour really, really good. And then I just sat and talked to these two people who are like volunteer builders out here and they kind of run the visitor center and the, the other tours. If I were to come back, which I probably will, I will like fork out the money for the guided tour because then you actually get to go inside some of the houses. What I didn't know is like all of these are like private residences except for the visitor center. So you can't really like go in them anymore like you used to. But on the guided tour you can so that's something to maybe do in the future but really really good I learned a lot it was really interesting and I found out that there's actually a nurse ship where I live in Amarillo so I'm gonna have to check that out too all right I'm gonna cool off a little bit and then I'm gonna head to the plaza downtown and just kind of walk around and just waste some time do a little shopping just kind of chill out and kind of just do whatever that's what this whole trip is it's just do whatever So I decided to come back to my Airbnb a little bit earlier than I expected because I just kind of got all shopped out. I probably went to like 25 or 30 stores and I was just done. Plus it started raining and it's so nice right now. It's a little shower so I'm going to read and just relax for a little bit before I order my dinner. I didn't really intend to get this much food, but I had it in my mind that I wanted some enchiladas. So I got chicken enchiladas with red sauce. I was going to do green, but I just, I can't. I asked them how hot it was and they said it was hot and I, I just can't. And then I've got some beans and rice and then guacamole, I love, and some chips and salsa, which they threw in with the guacamole. So this is dinner. It's going to be delicious. I can't wait. So my time here at the Little Dome House is done. I'm about to pack up to go home. But before I do that, I'm going to stop off in Santa Fe. I'm going to try a little restaurant that I found there. And I'm going to Meow Wolf, which is really cool. If you don't know what that is, it's an immersive art installation. And it's really cool. And I have been wanting to go for years. And I'm really excited that I got tickets to it. I think it's going to be really fun. And just like another good experience and um, kind of will break up my drive home. So I've got about five hours ahead of me, but the little stop off in Santa Fe will be nice. And then I'll be home by evening, I think. So it's been a really quick trip, but a really good trip too. I've been really enjoying my time away and just like kind of just, just being physically away from home has been really good. And I'm super grateful for that. So I'm going to go pack up and hit the road. Hey! So 
so I made it to Santa Fe. It was a gorgeous drive. I didn't stop along the way or anything, but it was very beautiful. And now I have a little bit of time to kill because I, I left a little earlier than I was planning on it. Um, so I got into town and I was going to go down to the plaza, but it's just too crowded down there. I drove down and I was like, I don't want to find a parking spot and all that. And like, there's just people everywhere. But I remembered they have a Trader Joe's here, so I'm going to go in and get a couple of things, like little staples and stuff. I can't get anything frozen because I don't have a nice chest with me or anything, but I can get some other stuff. So I'm going to go grab some things and then go grab some lunch and then get to Meow Wolf. All right, real quick, let's do a little Trader Joe's haul. Okay, first I got this Everything But The Bagel Kettle Chips. Yum. I love that seasoning, so I was going to drop that. By the way, there was no rhyme or reason to any of this. <laughs> it was just whatever I found that I thought sounded good. Okay, here is some focaccia bread, which I love. We roasted tomato and parmesan. Yum. And then, uh, of course, a Trader Joe's trip for me cannot be without the dark chocolate peanut butter cups, along with the dark chocolate cherries, because I love these too. And then the rest of this is like sea oh, I also grabbed, I forgot I got these, oven baked cheese bites with truffle yum. Okay, some creamy peanut butter. They have really good peanut butter. Salted, by the way. Some spiced chai concentrate. It's really good. And then these are all just like seasoning things, kind of some peach salsa that just sounded very good like summery and then this sounded really good to me aioli garlic mustard sauce might be good on like a sandwich this i hadn't seen before but i was like intrigued apparently it's got like um it's got like uh i was reading on the label it wasn't this label <laughs> it was the the sign but it has like um mayonnaise mustard relish juice or whatever and then uh, something else I don't know ketchup sounded good okay this is my all-time favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's I use it on everything it's so good and the very last thing is this seasoning I have had my eye on this one so I wanted to grab this I have like basically all the other ones like the everything but the yellow uh every all of them I've got all of them so adding that to my collection. So that's everything I grabbed from Trader Joe's. It was a fun little trip. So now I'm going to find my little cafe that I had um, pinned and go check out what they got. So I'm here at Meow Wolf and I'm ready to go in. I'm really excited to get in there, but it is looking very crowded. We all have time slots and tickets and all that, but um, it's just going to be interesting to see how this goes. So I'm going to get go in line and um, get started on whatever it is because I've only seen pictures um, and I don't really know what to expect. So it's going to be an adventure. <laughs>
So I'm done and it was so well worth it and worth the wait because I just had the most amazing time. I love art. If you like modern art, street art, immersive art, you would love it. It's just incredible. I spent about an hour and a half in there. I saw everything twice, I think, and a couple things like four times. Like the fridge fascinated me. And there were just so many like cool little things, like little details. And it they said before we went in, they kind of gave us the spiel on it. It took them about a year to build the whole thing. And you could totally tell because there's just details everywhere. There's like little things, little like passageways and little like touches of just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like so cool and so interactive and just like one of the most memorable experiences of my life, I think. Um, just like as an art lover and like as a person who just loves to experience different things, like that was amazing. And I'm so glad that I did it. But now it is time to go home. So I'm going to go get some gas and I'm going to head home. So I'm going to close out this little travel vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.